Hi friends. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you see this message, whenever it shows up on your For You page, or whenever you felt drawn to this message, then this is the right time for you to see it. So we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna blow on the deck. I'm gonna give it a knock, which clears any energy from past readings. And I'm gonna ask the spirits, um, what is this reading about? Can you tell me, is this love, money? What is this reading about? So they're not exactly telling me if it's love or money yet, but they are giving me the five of pentacles, which is about somebody feeling left out in the cold in a situation. We have two of wands. Um, so there being some kind of a decision to be made. Now, normally, I usually see the imagery for the three of wands about waiting for your ships to come in, but in this particular two of wands imagery, there are ships outside the window coming in, uh, waiting to come in. So a little bit of that message where you're, you're feeling left out in the cold in a situation, you're waiting for your ships to come in. And with this two of wands, you know, he's studying in a book. Um, and normally with my normal deck, I see that again as a decision needing to be made and you know kind of that they've already made the decision but this imagery is slightly different um there might be travel involved this is you know maybe planning and uh, being strategic about a situation so maybe the need to plan um, and it might involve travel There's possible love here because we have some roses in this picture, but let me keep pulling and find out more. What is this two of wands spirit? Can you give us more about the situation? Can you clarify? What is this two of wands and what is this reading about? Is it a love reading? Money reading, a career opportunity. What is this reading about? Love, money, career, what? Okay, got a few cards. Okay, so I feel like Okay, this is gonna be a twin flame reading. Um, a lot of my readings always tend to go there because I am a twin flame and you know, I've been told my purpose is to help other twin flames. So of course, you know, the majority of my readings are gonna go there. But um, normally the death card doesn't mean twin flames for me, but this particular death card does with this imagery, um, how it's, you know, this man and woman um, and this ball of fire here. Um, so I feel like there's transition. This is about a transition happening for a twin flame, and this might involve the twin flames. I don't know if this is transition for like the divine feminine, um, or if it's transition for the actual twin flame couple and their romance. Um, but we have five of cups. So this is, you know, you feeling, again, like we said, left out in the cold and just very sad, uh, feeling like everything is lost. So with the five of cups, you know, there's always the two, three cups spilt, but what they don't see is the two cups still standing. So this person is grieving the loss of something in the past, um, but what they don't see is that there is still hope. I don't know if it's necessarily with the twin flame union for this particular twin flame couple, or if that's just for the divine feminine energy. Um, I do see these rose petals falling and I had a reading recently where there was strong rose, pink rose petals falling and I don't even think it was this card. Um, maybe this deck just has a lot of that. So I'm going to keep that in mind as we keep going. And then we have the page of wands. So the page of wands is about, um, you know, definitely an offer coming in. It's going to be fiery and passionate, but, you know, they're not quite a king yet. They're a page. So, you know, it could be that the offer will start off kind of immature, you know, not a very big offer at first, maybe, you know, very passionate, fun and flirty energy. It could be that the person, this divine masculine coming in is a lot younger than you. This particular person's very young. Like I said, it could be that they're just immature or that the offer's immature. Let's get some um, clarification on that. What is this page of wands? Spirit, what is this page of wands? I'm using a different deck. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So we do have an Eight of Cups, which is a little different than the Five of Cups. Because in this deck, my Five of Cups, you know, they're walking away, but again, you know, all this, these cups are spilt and they still have some standing. Well, in this case, all the cups are still standing, but they're still walking away. So this card for me is more about needing to go into that cave to go into like hermit mode and do some inner reflection. And the moon is about your path, you know, being guided. This, your, your intuition will guide you. So there was a situation here with your twin flame where, for whoever this reading is for, where you felt left out in the cold. You felt very sad about this. You guys must have split, you know. Um, but there's going to be a transition. You're in transition with this person. Again, this situation might involve travel. But there's going to be an offer, or there was an offer. Maybe they came back and made an offer to you. And you, you know, you were in the part where you started to love yourself and heal your wounds. And so you said, you know what? I'm going to walk away from this offer because it's not, it is immature. It's not the offer that I want. So I'm going to love myself enough to walk away from your offer. And if that hasn't happened yet, then that, I see that happening. And like I said, it could be that this already happened, but if not, you know, it will, or this is what you need to do. If this person comes in with this um, offer that's not quite what you deserve, you need to walk away and go in search of, you know, your truth for your inner truth and healing for yourself and all that stuff. <clears throat> but I do see, I didn't give a time frame on this, so I don't know when, but I do see some good stuff coming in. For you, and I don't know if this is with this person. I would assume so, since that's what we, you know, what they started off telling us about. But I do see stability for you, because the King of Cups, you know, he's in this rocky ocean, but he's on this very stable sta slab of concrete. So um, he's sitting in his power, and he's just, you know, the cups are all about emotion. So he's emotionally st stable and secure. I also see some great things coming in with these three next cards. Like, oh my God, we've got um, success, victory with the six of wands. And these are, you know, people cheering you on as well. You've got a crowd cheering you on. You're going to have some kind of success and victory. Hopefully in this situation, but if not, it's at least for you. Um, and then you have the ace of swords which is being brought to you by the divine. You'll see that there's a hand coming out from the heavens here. And this also represents success and victory here with that sword. And um, what do they call that? I forget what they call that. There are some challenges in the background, though. There are some mountains here which represent challenges. Um, they're not huge, though. But they're, you know, after overcoming those challenges, you will have a success and victory. Like I said, both of these cards... Um, do mean success and victory. And the ace, that's that's a really great sign. That's a really good card. It can also mean clarity and truth. So I think it's both. I think you're going to be getting clarity and truth with regard to this situation, and there's going to be some kind of success and victory. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you're going into a new cycle um, in your life. It could be in this reunion, um, in this... Um, in this relationship and because we had transition, you know, I am starting to pick up that this probably is with this relationship and not just for you. Um, because you walk away, either you did or you will, or you should walk away from this person when they come in with the page offer, when they come in with an immature offer, something that's not quite what you deserve. They need to come in with the King of Cups. They need to come in with something stable. And, and then you will have the success victory, this clarity. And you will have a transformation of this relationship. You will have, you will be going into a new lucky cycle. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is, is a new lucky cycle. So I'm going to stop this part of the reading right here. 
And I'm gonna go into an extended part two. If you wanna watch that, you can go down to the description and click on the link in the description that will take you over to my Patreon. So to watch that, it's $5.55. You know, a lot of readers will charge kind of a one-time fee, but for mine, it's actually for the whole month that you sign up for. It's a monthly subscription. Um, so you'll be able to get access to all my extendeds and all my past extendeds, I do believe. So if you wanna watch that, I'll see you over there. Um, as always, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and lick, and lick the, <laughs> and click the um, notification button so that you can get notified when I send videos out. Please, you know, um, it really helps me if you click the like button, did I say that? And, um, you know, comment. I always love comments and hearing feedback and that helps my channel. So I hope you're well. And in the extended, I'm going to go ahead and go into more like what's going to happen in the next six months to a year with this relation, this particular relationship. Cause we know it looked like there's going to be a transformation based on the current energy. Um, but I didn't really have a time frame. So we'll go into, you know, what's going to happen in the next six months to a year. What would, can we, um, uh, expect for whoever this is for? And, um, you know, just pick some more different kinds of cards, maybe some love oracle cards, and just see what messages come out, uh, what else spirit needs you to know. Now, if you watch these readings and you still aren't sure if this is for you or if you have any other questions, I do do personal readings, but the only place you can buy a personal reading from me is on my website, which is www.bossasswitch1111.com. So it's four ones. There are impersonators that might try to get at you on my comments. That's not me. Um, so I'll see you in the extended.